station fire has burned more than 80,000 acres since it started on Tuesday. For perspective, that's 125 square miles. It's roughly the size of Portland. But according to fire officials, today it is 44% contained. And last night, it was only 15% contained. Some evacuation levels are also being reduced. Everything west of Highway 97 is now on level 2, meaning get set to evacuate if needed. We feel like we're in a good place on this fire. We're al already able to release some of these crews and, and get them back to their home units or onto the next fire. Uh, but yeah, I think today is going to be a, a telling day for this fire. And today we got to go behind the fire lines to see some of the progress that's been made. You're watching the flames come and the smoke come over the hills. A frightening situation is starting to turn for Jeff Smith and other farmers surrounded by the substation fire. He tells Coin 6 that many farmers, including his brother, have already lost crops, but there is some hope moving forward. They're harvesting again and they're back to work, so I think that's a good thing. With more than 300 firefighters from across Oregon converging on Sherman and Wasco County, the containment lines are starting to hold. We made really good progress yesterday. Uh, today, even better. Uh, I think uh, we're looking forward to the weather being in our favor. Incident Commander Ian Yoakum says they're hoping by Sunday they'll be able to transition the responsibility back to local firefighting organizations. This morning, he said when they needed resources, Governor Kate Brown made sure they got them. The governor herself said a big part of the progress was because of the farmers themselves. Their knowledge in fighting this type of fire was instrumental to our ability to reach this point where we're at. We look forward to providing you the tools and the resources uh, that you need to recover from this devastating wildfire. Well, that interview was from this morning, and fire officials.